thought this scene every day was I would leave work at five, go get her from daycare, and then we would go home and have dinner. So um, that particular day, my friend Tom was coming over to visit, and it was actually his first time ever meeting Amaya. Um, so he brought over a pizza, and we all sat at the table eating our pizza, and she was being goofy as always. And, um, and as we were finishing up, she said, all right, Mommy, I want to go get Madagascar, because that was her favorite movie. So I said, okay, you know, go get your movie, because um, on the stand that the TV sat on, there were two drawers. The top one was full of her movies, and the bottom one was my stuff. Um, so she always went and got a movie right out of the drawer. So she went to get the movie, or so I thought, um, and I had hurt my leg a couple weeks prior. They thought that I tore my MCL, and um, so I was in a brace every day, but that particular day I had taken it off to let my leg air out. Um, so I was hobbling around the kitchen, me and Tom were cleaning up from dinner, and as we were walking over to the sink to, um, you know, wash down the plates and put the pizza away, um, at first I heard a small crash, which later on found out it was the DVD player falling off the TV. And I thought maybe it was just the candle, because I kept candles on the tables. And she just, sometimes she would, she knew better not to touch things, but sometimes she would anyways, you know, being a precocious two-year-old. Um, so I heard that first, and I just kind of looked at him, and before I could say anything else, I heard the huge crash of the TV. And um, I just kind of looked at him, and I said, what the hell was that? And then it hit me, and I had the sinking feeling because I didn't hear her screaming. And, you know, a loud noise like that, she would usually scream or come running or something. So um, I kind of pushed him out of the way and ran over to the living room. Um, <laughs> Sorry. To see just her body from her neck down and the TV laying on her head. Um, and so that's when I just had to th throw the TV off of her and I tried to, um, get her to talk to me or respond. And she was pretty much gone by then. Um, I was, you know, yelling and trying to get her to respond. Um, there was a lot of blood and so, um, so I was a CNA for... Um, five or six years, I kind of knew with that much blood and that kind of injury, it wasn't good. <sighs> um, but yeah, she, I, we think, because nobody really knows what happened, um, we think that she tried to use the drawer as a step to put the, t the DVD into the DVD player, um, because that's how she always was. She wanted to help mommy, especially with my injured leg. Um, you know, I'd go to do the dishes and she'd pull a chair up to the sink to try to help me. Um, I would try to cook and she'd want to pull a chair. You know, she had to be right there to help mommy. So that's what we think is what happened. Um, and it kind of still rang true when she was um, dying because she was very calm and pretty much gone and I started freaking out. And that's when she tried to breathe and tried to move. And, um, and I just felt bad that she was suffering. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to explain, but when you're, in, when you're in that moment to see your child suffer, it was like that's kind of at that point where I wanted her there with me, but at the same time I was just praying that she didn't suffer anymore, you know? Um, so at that moment I was just trying to make her comfortable. You know, and I just kept telling her, it's okay, they're on their way, it's okay, baby, you know, mommy's okay. Um, and it really only took them, I'd say, two, three minutes tops to get there, but it seemed like forever, you know, because I'm freaking out. Tom's on the phone with the dispatchers trying to tell them what's going on, you know. Um, and then they got there, and they were trying to... Um, figure out all of her injuries, you know, because when there's that much blood, you don't even know where it's coming from. I know that when she first, I first lifted the TV off of her, there was a split right down the side of her head 
So I knew that that at least was what was going on. Um, but yeah, that's when it just kind of shocks it in. And yeah.